Yo, what's going on, everyone? Quick tutorial here. Someone on my Discord was requesting a two two PC gamepad viewer setup. Since when you add a browser source, all you get is this disk in there. You are going to need a plugin called NDI Source. This will allow you to do exactly what you're looking for. Um, I'm going to put the meat and potato of this tutorial right in the beginning. So if you're pretty familiar with OBS and plugins, you'll be able to use it and probably just move along. If you need a detailed breakdown, everything is going to be linked in the bio below uh, and mapped out in the timeline so you can skip around to what you need. All right, installing the plugin. I'm going to link this below. You're going to go to this page. Uh, it's the OBS NDI plugin. You know, right click on scene. One you made specifically for your game pad. Filters. I'm going to add a dedicated NDI output. I named it Gaming PC. Name it whatever you want. You're going to click Apply Changes just from the default stuff and close. All right, now back on your streaming PC. All you have to do is click the plus for a source, add an NDI source, name it whatever you want, and then pick your gaming PC output. That will now capture that source that we added on our gaming PC. And that's it. All right, installing the plugin. I'm going to link this below. You're going to go to this page. Uh, it's the OBS NDI plugin. I'm going to go to download. Just use the installer. Pretty much always works, but if for whatever reason you do need to do this manually, there's plenty of tutorials on it. You'll download this. Go to your OBS directory, which you can find by doing a quick search, right clicking, open file location. This is a shortcut, so open file location again. This is your directory. You're going to back out to OBS Studio to where it shows data and OBS plugins. You're going to go to your downloads where you downloaded the zip. And you're going to copy this over to your directory. And you're going to do this on both PCs. Um, I've already done it, so obviously I have to replace them, which is fine. You've got to set up first however you want. I did it via browser source. You can do it with no capture, anything you want on your gaming PC. You don't have to stream this. You don't have to record it. It just has to be running. Come in here and set it up all over. So first we're talking about browser source. Show you how to do that. You come to Gamepad Viewer. Make sure you're viewing Player One, otherwise nothing is here. I personally am a big fan of white, so you can window capture this or general URL. Make sure it's on white if you want white. Copy. And then you paste that in your browser source. Again, you can do either one, it doesn't matter. It's just this is on your gaming PC. You know, right click on scene. One you made specifically for your gamepad. Filters going to add a dedicated NDI output. I named it Gaming PC, name it whatever you want. You're going to click Apply Changes just from the default stuff and close. All right, now back on your streaming PC. All you have to do is click the plus for a source, add an NDI source, name it whatever you want, and then pick your Gaming PC output. That will now capture that source that we added on our gaming PC, and that's it. All right, guys, happy streaming. And as always, if you like what you saw, hit the like button. If you think I could have done something differently, or if you have a request, comment it below. And uh, if you want to see more, sub and add those notifications. Everyone have a great night.